Hello, welcome to Fawad Lake's walkthrough videos. This is the very first time I'm recording my tutorial with my audio. I have never recorded earlier. So I hope uh, this would be good and informative enough for you to proceed. Uh, today we are going to look at Kaspersky installation uh, along with a network agent and Kaspersky endpoint security. So if you look over here, this is a Windows 7 machine. Uh, which doesn't have any Kaspersky install on it um, and what we would do we would try to install Kaspersky on this particular machine so to start with what we would do is we would go to our server uh, this is Windows 2012 R2 server and we have already done an installation tutorial for the same thing so what we would do we would run uh, Kaspersky Security Center because we would be doing a remote installation on this particular machine. So let's start the installation after running the console. Alright, so uh, currently we are at Kaspersky Security Center 10 and the console uh, version which we already have installed on this one uh, we are running 10.4.343 so it's all the same almost for 10 onwards the console is same so if you look over here we have unassigned devices um, which doesn't have Kaspersky agent running or installed or it doesn't have any Kaspersky uh, endpoint security installed on it so to install Kaspersky endpoint security along with the agent we have a uh, few options what we can do is we can right click on this one and we say install application so from here I can select which application I would like to install I can install Kaspersky endpoint security 10 for Windows and I can install network agent uh, on this machine as well so I can say next after selecting Kaspersky endpoint security and I say next I would select license for this and I would need an account but definitely there's no Kaspersky agent installed so the preferable way would be if I install network agent first get the information if there is any software which is installed on this particular machine and which is incompatible software maybe there is another antivirus running on that which might block my installation of Kaspersky endpoint security so let's install a uh, network agent first on this machine and then maybe in other tutorials we'll see how we can gather the information and uh, install uh, uh, uninstall the incompatible software but for now what we would do we would install an agent on it and then we will install Kaspersky endpoint security on it so let's click next over here and once this is done you can say next and if you want to change these settings it's up to you but normally it depends on the administrator what he wants to do right now so uh, I would be providing an account over here my domain name is lab Right. so let's say next and we'll click next after this um, we will see whether we want to restart the machine or if you want to change any setting uh, honestly speaking for network agent installation there is no need of reinstall restarting the machine definitely uh, if you are going for Kaspersky endpoint security it might need restart depends whether you have any incompatible software or not or if there is any other version of endpoint security already running and you are upgrading it from that to the new version in that case definitely at least one time restart would be required for that machine to manage that you can go into this modify setting and do something so that we will look into it once we'll go to endpoint security settings uh, so I can move this uh, group, uh, machine after installation of network agent to any of the groups so right now I only have one group I can create a group from here or I can go directly to the manage groups so probably I'll say IT help desk as my group and I want to move this computer after installation to IT help desk next next and I can finish it and look at the task results from the task menu or I can just click on view results and it would show me uh, you need to make sure that admin rights are given uh, and you have access to admin dollar on that particular machine because the way Kaspersky install any 
any of the agent or any of the endpoint security software it access uh, admin dollar shared folder copies the set of file over there and then it runs the command uh, remotely to run the setup from that particular admin dollar folder so you can see that our agent has already installed now remote installation is completed on lab computer now let's go and check the device under IT hub desk and you can see that the device is pushed over here this particular machine is moved to IT help desk after uh, agent installation um, if you look we don't have real-time protection running on this machine because Kaspersky endpoint security is not installed so to install Kaspersky endpoint security what you can do is you can say right click install application and you can choose Kaspersky endpoint security installation and you can also select do not install application if it is already installed uh, as earlier you would select the license key for this particular uh, Installation of endpoint security you can say no account required because network agent is installed, but I preferably put the Credentials again. That's my only preference, but you can use the same uh, Way without agent uh, without credentials as well So if we say next um, if you go modify it would say your administration has installed a Kaspersky lab this is a message which would be popping up to the user uh, and it says uh, repeat prompt every five minutes and restart it this is like um, you are pushing the restart without uh, any delay after 30 minutes you can uncheck this if you don't want uh, it's up to you you can say okay and you say next this is the place where you can configure if you have any uh, incompatible softwares. Incompatible softwares can be uninstalled uh, remotely with the help of Kaspersky Endpoint Security. And definitely if you are uninstalling any incompatible software, the machine will require restart later on. Um, so you can say next, next, and then your task will start running. Same way you can click on view results to view the installation results. Or you can finish it and go back to the tasks which we have done over here and if you look here it is trying to install Kaspersky endpoint security and the task is running now so um, if you look over here and scroll it up over here it says Kaspersky network agent is already installed so there's nothing to do with that and then second thing it is trying to install Kaspersky endpoint security on that particular machine and this is one way of installation that you can install network agent and then install Kaspersky endpoint security there is another easiest way which normally I prefer to do is to create a task on that particular group where you would like to install you can create a task directly over here and just to show you I'm not going to run this task in this video just to show you that you can say uh, install application remotely in this way what you can do is you can help uh, yourself by choosing both the options to install a network agent and endpoint security together in one so rest everything is same you just need to follow the visit and click finish whenever there is a new machine moved to this group uh, definitely we can talk about it later in different videos if you want how we can move machines there could be automated way there could be a manual way to move the machines like drag and drop thing so once whenever the machine would appear over here uh, moved from one group to this group this task will start running on it uh, which we would be creating so that's the one way of doing it which is like easiest way which I find So now if we look over here, our task is completed it seems on the machine or um, it's still running. Let's check that out. So it's still running. So I'll pause the video over here uh, to just wait for this task to get completed and then we'll resume this video once this task is completed. Now as you can see that the task is completed successfully, we can 
see over here as a result uh, we now just need to verify over here if you go to devices now the real-time protection is running so just to make sure and to show you if we come over here we have Kaspersky running over here so this was a tutorial showing how to install network agent along with Kaspersky endpoint security take care and thanks for watching